Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Teutonic Order Conquest on the New Age mod for European War 4. So I'm sorry that I didn't upload this for about 5 days, I'm pretty sure that it was 5 days. I just, I wanted to do a lot of things, but you know, Halloween was coming around so I had to reschedule a lot of those things. There was a review, there was a Deus Volt video which I'm working on, I'm currently trying to get clips and everything. I am working on quite a few projects right now for the channel, so it was a bit of a messy upload week for me, but I am back on schedule now that I have uploaded this. So everything should be back to normal by now, and expect some larger videos soon. So this episode, really my only goal is to remove kebab. That's the only thing that I want to accomplish. And I do think that they have land in the other part of Africa, aka West Africa. Yes, they do. God damn it. All right. But we're at least going to remove them from the Balkans. That's all that I really want to do this episode. We can worry about Africa some other time. It's not really that important. But what is important is getting this minor factory because... I honestly don't fucking know, I just need to do this. <laughs> Look, I need to conquer them in order to finish up this Let's Play, alright? France is pretty much done now. So my only enemy is the Ottoman Empire. I mean, look at this. That's seriously- Wow, that actually is it. <laughs> it was only- It was only France and the Ottoman Empire. Well, there was also Poland and Poland-Lithuania, but those didn't last. So yeah, actually the only things left are the Ottoman Empire and a little bit of France. Which if this were World Conqueror 3, France wouldn't be a thing anymore, actually. Well, they alright, they really wouldn't. So France would be conquered by now if this was a World Conqueror again. Speaking of which, a Napoleonic mod is being made for European War 4. I mean, not European War 4. World Conqueror 3. <clears throat> Don't harass me and all that and ask, oh, when's it coming out? Alright, I get some people might get excited for it, but I genuinely don't know. I don't, I don't even think that the maker of the mod knows when it's coming out. It's supposed to be a huge project that he's been working on, and I just warned about. So once that comes out, are right, any of you watch that forum and all that? Can you go ahead and tell me? I want to be one of the first people on that, because that's supposed to be... A like I said, a huge thing. And of course, I need the views to keep my channel alive. <laughs> I'm just kidding, this channel is actually been doing extremely well, to my surprise. So thank you guys so much for that. There we are, we are just clearing up the Ottomans. They don't even have Athens, like they made no progress in the Balkans. You know what, we will go in and, yeah, let's go and do it. Uh... Oh! That's a unit from Poland with Luania! Oh, did any of them escape? Or other of them, is what I meant to say. Nope. That's the last unit from Poland with Luania. Let's go ahead and send down. Can't send down a ship because that coast artillery is right there. Okay. We'll take care of it. But that is the last unit for Poland with Luania, I am pretty sure. Alright, Byzantium is in trouble. They're trying, or I shouldn't say they're, Poland with Lithuania is trying to take Constantinople, and they're currently not doing that bad at it. I, mean, I could always save it, but it just wouldn't feel right if the Byzantine Empire didn't have Constantinople. I mean, that was really the only thing holding up their empire for quite a while. So, if possible, I want to help them hold Constantinople. Unless they left the gate open, then they're fucked. And they left the fucking gate open. Alright, you know what? This is no problem. It really isn't. See, what I'm going to do here is... I now see that... The Byzantine Empire is not responsible enough to care for Constantinople. I can't trust them to care for it. So... It is going under official... Rule, I guess... Of the Teutonic Order. And the Byzantine Empire, I guess, can just work on Greece.
I mean, really, the Byzantine Empire has been completely useless in this conquest. Which is strange, because whenever you play as the Byzantine Empire, like yourself, the Teutonic Order is useless. So, uh, it's a weird trade-off there. And let's go and take a look at France. They have one ship. Oh, they have no food. They have absolutely no farms. One ship, one fort, uh, one coastal fort, and another ship. So, two ships and two forts. I think that's all that they have. Yep, seems like it. That's that's it. Huh. I almost thought that was a Byzantine Empire flag, but nope, they're still being useless. And yes, I have noticed um, the border situation over here in Europe. Oh, this would be w really one bitch to negotiate if you were playing Hearts of Iron. That's a bad joke, but in reality, if you play that game, you know exactly what I'm fucking talking about. But yeah, border situation in Europe, not looking too good. They're gonna have to fix those. Or you could just wait till World War One, and then they get fucked up again. But we'll save that for the other mod. You know, to be fair, I have been talking a lot of shit about the borders, but mine aren't looking too good either. Uh, fucking thanks, Hungary. Hungary is just ruining- so is the Holy Roman Empire. Hungary and the Holy Roman Empire, that is- I cannot say that three times fast. Whatever. They are completely ruining my border. Can y'all just get those little pieces of land out of my land, please? I- I really wish that you could declare war on neutral nations in this game. I really do. Because I would have done it many times by now. And there we are. We have already removed Kebab. But we are not going to stop there. Because we have no enemies to attack over here in Europe. I I think... Are, th are they even... G oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, my bad. I was wondering if they were even going for the French units. It didn't seem like they were. But I think that they are. And Lithuania, or Poland Lithuania, has been conquered. And the Teutonic Order now holds Constantinople. Now, like I said, we will not stop there. I'm going to start sending units to Turkey immediately. I think that we can take it this episode. They only have one city, a uh, factory, stable, and uh, a little bit of land. So we'll go and take care of that. Alright guys, so I just finished off Turkey and I've come to a bit of a realization in this conquest, really. There aren't that many enemies left. There is this French ship, which I don't know if Spain will go for, or hell, even Portugal. Somebody, I hope, takes that ship, because there's only this little bit of the Ottoman Empire left, and that's the conquest. So how about we go from just wanting to remove Kebab in Europe, or the Balkans? And just go ahead and remove them all together. So, yeah, basically what I'm saying is I'm going to go in and conquest this episode. And big surprise, France has been conquered. <laughs> Oh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Teutonic Order, along with some minor nations that really didn't do all that much, conquered Europe. Challenge Asia or rule Europe, it really doesn't matter what you choose in this game. But sure, I guess I'll challenge Asia. See, it literally does nothing. I don't know if that's... I don't know if you're like supposed to imagine yourself conquering Asia, or if this mod is incomplete and they're doing an Asian map. I don't know, but the choice at the end of the conquest just really does not matter. So he managed to conquer Europe, of course, like I said, with a little bit of help in 60 turns. I would say that's not bad, really, for having to chase down quite a few units, it really isn't that bad. So thank you guys so much for supporting this Let's Play. I didn't expect so many people to like it, but you guys did, and thank you for that. But I want to do a little bit of something different, I guess. Well, I want to do a world map, or just any strategy game with a world map, 
I want to do a USA conquest, which I've never actually done. Well, I did do one for that special scenario mod, you know, US versus US, yeah, USSR, I almost just said 1S. But I did that, but that's really not an American conquest, you know, like, it seemed like all the nations united together against the communist nations, and they were just calling it America. You know, that's what it seemed like. So I want to do just a normal American conquest on a mod, Demise of Nations. I still haven't decided yet. But if you guys would like to see that, go ahead and tell me. Go and tell me what game you would like to see it on. And, uh, yeah, I will title it Making the World Great Again, because we're going to conquer the world. Even all the neutral nations. So, uh, yeah. That's going to be a thing. And that's all I have to say. Goodbye.